I just call it how I see it. I'm a little rough around the edges sometimes. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. This is part three. It was only supposed to be a three pata, but price was very, very good. And the only reason I had that massive hit was because I decided to get a fourth. Because I always remembered enjoying OPG Platinum. It seems that a lot of people are enjoying this rip more than normal, I would say. Due to lack of content, I think people are jumping in on it more, but also I think the design is a lot better than last year's. Um, same with Allure. I think Allure they did better with, but um, Allure seemed to have gotten released at a weird time, and I mean, it's kind of forgotten. Some people are still collecting it, but um, yeah, it's just kind of like, it's a weird market right now for it. Um, this is always a strange market too. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. Um, but yeah, the cards are definitely, it's a good rip. Like it is definitely entertaining. There's definitely some big stuff in there. Um, found out more information and we actually got Cardboard Connection to update the status on that first, yeah, the first wave of my four breaks that I'm going to do. That'll show content, go over odds, and we'll see what we can get out of four boxes. Um, so it is now an official unannounced parallel. There is a hidden set unannounced. And it is the Premier. And I ended up with a Matthews. Not a bad hit. I have noticed some centering issues. Ooh. We got Ryan McLeod as the rookie. Johnny Gaudreau and a Leon Dreisaitl Rainbow. Not a bad time to own a Leon. He is on absolute fire and the bread man. But, yeah, he's going to get a sleeve. He is incredible. He's on an absolute tear. He's on my fantasy hockey team. And he is making me in first place, basically. Because he is putting up so many points, so many goals. So, that's one of our five rainbows. Bam, rainbow. Um, great player. Great player. Let's give you a little more room. There you go. Um, okay, that's a nice one. I did pull a just a base lock in the end, the last one for a rookie um, and a Stutzel. Um, oh, I see gold. Please be it. Please, just please. This is Jake Ottinger. Please be a one of one. Rask. Tyler Toffoli. And the Chili Kratzoff Yellow Track. Hmm. Too close. And he's back with the KHL. Tooks. Um damn. Oh, well, there's one of our serials. It is a rookie. It is low numbered. That, um, that, uh, gold, there's a, um, come on, do it right. Stretch the corner, slide into your home, there you go, that's how you sleeve. Um, so, there is two now that have thrown me for a loop. Um, there is the yellow tracks and the seismic gold. I thought this was going to be it, but unfortunately not. Uh, this kid is talented. I don't know what happened with him and the Rangers organization, but yeah, they um, they let him just basically go to the KHL, I believe. 
Uh, he didn't want to go down to the AHL. Um, I, apparently, he was playing well. I'll we'll showcase you. That's one of our um, cereals. I'm only supposed to get two, but I've been averaging more than two. Um, anyways, yeah. Damn. Twice I've been had by the gold. Thought I'm getting a one of one. End up with... I mean, Logan Couture was one, and Kratzoff's another one. I mean, it's not terrible. We got something red back there. So, Chris Tierney. Joe Pavelski. David Pasternak, and... Oh, oh baby. That's a heavy hitter. That's a heavy hitter. Lafreniere in the red prism. Out of 199, number 26. Ooh. Ooh, and the edging looks... The centering... My main... The centering looks nice on it. It's not heavy. It's good. Ooh. I've been looking at some of the centering on some of these, and they're, they're pretty much off. But this one is a gorgeous card. Um, that is a nice hitter. Two rookies back to back. Um, both Rangers. For you Ranger fans out there. Also, I, um, I started letting go of my Lafreniere PC. I used to collect him. But then I started selling some of the stuff. And I realized that... I just collected him because he was rare and highly sought after. Not because I was interested in his playstyle. And I switched to the only forwards that I follow are Brad Marchand and surprisingly Josh Norris. Josh Norris is my non Bruin PC. Everything else is goalies. Um, I think I've already stated that I have a PSA 10 Hellebuck replacing that Niner. Which is exciting. Mm, Muration. And that is a, a retro rainbow. Dave Vladi. Maki Rookie. Mika Renton and Brett Burns. Brett Burns is Quietly having a good season. I mean, you don't hear too much out of San Jose, but I mean, I was actually looking into it, and the young gun Barbashev, that was a Toronto prospect, is there. He played some time in the KHL and has experience, and he's actually been playing all right in San Jose. I know they have a lot of youth there, but I mean, you, you look at time on ice and production, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, Toronto's actually lost some some serious prospects. I mean, um, Andreas Johnson was very highly rated, and he never really did anything on Toronto. And he's in New Jersey, and he's almost a point a game. He's up to six goals and three assists out of 11 games. He's a plus seven with some serious ice time, I mean, that's promising. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. This Kaprasov. And the great eight. The great eight and sweet selection. That's one of the inserts. Kiefer Bellows. And Jack Eichel. He's on the wrong team. Obviously, they're not going to keep up with that trade, but, I mean, Taylor Hall to the Bruins, come on. Put them on the bees. This is a nice little rook box so far. I haven't had much luck with the autos. Um, last year I did get from last year's set. This one's kind of chopped up at the bottom a little bit, but it might just be a little cleaning maintenance issue. Um, I don't know if you all know that you clean your cards before you submit them, but. They don't always come out as crisp. And by that I mean there could be some like just excess cutting material left there that needs to be just kind of 
brushed away. Kifa Bells, um, these cards have been way off. Um, the sweet selections, the centering on them have been pretty bad. Every single one that I've pulled so far has been pretty bad, um, which is not good. You can definitely see it there also. It favors the right. So it's probably about, uh, it's like an 80 20. Maybe an 85 a 15 on a, you know, depends. I'd have to put the centering tool up to it, but it's not looking good for that specific insert. Um, also, the um, I've only gotten one of the photo shoots and um, or photo driven, and it was way off. Um, yeah, if that was um, being played, you know, they have the old school video players with the um, tracks. The tracks were way off on that one. Um, but Anyways, um, well, looks like we get our rainbow. There is our marquee rookie, Alexander Radulov. Or Romanov, sorry. Yeah. Jesper Bratt. Just a regular old Bradley Marshawn, Aaron Eckblad. Hopefully after I'm done these four, I can build at least a base set of everything. I think I've hit all the big names in a base. Come on, let's see what we can get. I think we've got a matte pink coming our way. Marky Rookie, Nicholas Bearden. Matthew Tuchuk, Alex Petrangelo, and Joe Pavelski. Oh, that was the Matt Pink. That threw me off. That's just a base retro. That is one of our six. That is a... I don't know if that counts as a um, retro or a rainbow or both. I haven't really counted, but... There's something red in here. Let's see what we've got. Elias Pettison's in the back. Taylor Hall. Ty Delarandra. And Brady Thachuk in the mat. So that's just a base retro. And I mean some talented. Some talented vets. I mean that's what this is really composed of. That's how you sleeve you so you don't destroy things, but you can do whatever you want with your cards. Um, and again, I don't slam it on the table. Moving on. So we've got two, possibly three, retros out of the way. We've got two rainbow, three rainbows down. Unless, I don't know if that counts. Pecorini, Victor Olson, Alex Ayafalo, Elvis Merceleekins, a PC of mine, and a rainbow. I'll take that. He has been upgraded to his 10. Can't wait till that Connor Hellbuck comes in. Very exciting um, to, I don't know, uh, as a collector to be able to upgrade your PC. I have a lot of his like higher end stuff that I've pulled. Um, some of my YouTubes, I've done the cop. I've done. Um, and I ended up with um, Connor Hellebuck's um, 
what is it, the um, signature patches, serial number to 25 with the throwback Winnipeg Jets, full logo, hard sign, that's nice. Right. Looks like we got our insert coming. Martin Cott. That's Mike. The PC I never wanted, but I got. Brian Ross, Jeff Skinner, and Connor McDavid. Best in the world. It is a true fact. This is a factual card. The centering on it is actually not as terrible as the other ones. And he is the best in the world. I mean, I can watch that highlight video of him going through five people and finishing all day long. Um, those are some filthy mints. Absolutely filthy mints. I gotta get his rookie regraded. My PSA. Um, continuing on. I mean, it got a good grades, but it was like a third grading company. Really. Yeah. No auto yet. We have two serial numbered. We've got some decent rookies. This is actually turning out to be quite the rip. And we'll see what our hit is at the end. Ryan Getzlaff. Gustav Lindrum. Lindstrom, sorry. And Thomas Shabbat. And this is in the Sunset Parallel. You get two Sunsets regardless. Those are included. Five Rainbows, two Sunsets, one Auto. They say two base serial numbers, but I've gotten... The first two I've gotten more than two, but my insert wasn't the greatest. I mean, my auto wasn't the greatest on the second. Um, the mat is actually rarer than the sunset. Continuing on. Don't worry, these all get sleeved when I'm done. Ooh, a little broken in the back there. Looks like we've got ourselves another sunset. It is a Roman Yossi. That's how they are broken. I pulled one in my first box. That was the magic box with that unannounced parallel set. Well, subset of the... Um, premiere throwback and it was Austin Matthews superstar there's been a few popping up from other people's lives or recording oh, these, these even the pro like the premiere upper deck I mean uh, ultra pros are still not getting the best quality out of them I don't do anything other than ultra pro You can just fit in there, but don't cover Elvis. You can go in the corner. All right, continuing on. Still no auto. We had. I think I had a red, red, rainbow retro auto my first time, and then just a base silver, and they weren't the greatest. Okay. Looks like we get a rainbow. I think we've got Alexander Barkov, Colton Perinko, Dylan Larkin, Josh Norris, my PC, in a rainbow. That is very nice. Just spoke about how he is my PC. I will not be putting this in my base set that I will create. But it will go into his PC stack. I have his graded Young Gun PSA. I have his 0203 variant that I pulled. 
Um, I don't know if it's on YouTube or Instagram, but that is a nice one, Mr. Norris. We can go in front of him. He's not even paralleled. Yeah, so I have all of his young gun variants. I have a lot of different parallels, autos, RPAs, things like that. I have his diamond relic. I have black diamond. A lot of people slept on him. I did not. Okay. Nero Heisher. Nikita Kucherov. Brady Thichuk. And Blake Lazat. So that's our third serial, because Violet Pixel's always serialed. Brady Thichuk. Another retro. No rooks in that one. But, I mean, we can't really complain. We have quite a selection of rooks that we've gotten already. These things eat your top loaders, so be prepared if you're going to be ripping a good amount of these because they need their top loaders or they will curl on you. And then you're just going to have a bunch of whopped. Um, he's serial numbered, but it's kind of just bleak on. He's all right. And I have his clear cut listed on my in, um, eBay. Young gun. He's actually been playing. He's alright. I mean, nothing to write home about yet. I don't see something pink. Is it a retro? It is. Brandon Hagel. Not a bad one to own. Liam Foody. And Phil Forsberg and Brady Thichuk. Man, every time these these um these are definitely um been waiting for the end on the autos. I mean, at least for my four boxes. I think we're going to be getting our auto here. Nope. Unless it's the, um... Oh, Michael Bearden. Looks like we're getting our insert. So this should be our last insert. Matt's plural Zuccarello and Mock Stone way off center. Uh, see the top, see the bottom. See, it's supposed to be like a film strip. It's not even close. But, nonetheless, that's our third insert. I mean, at least Connor McDavid, the best in the world, was on point. Braden point. Um, Stoner is out with an injury right now, too. Maybe it threw it off a little bit. Kidding. That's just, I don't know, it seems like that run, or maybe the initial run of getting these out to stores, they um, kind of botched that insert a little bit because that seems to be the worst one with um, centering. Alright, we got a veteran in the back. Maybe we get a party in the front. I see something red. Ooh, ooh, this is, I think this is one of the 216 rare autos. Because there are 216 short prints that were added. And it is. Joel. I can't even say it, but it is in the red rainbow. And this is from 2019-20 retro. Um, as I said before, there is a massive list. Now, there is from 2016 up to 2000, um, 
um, 2019-20 um, as an update. Uh, I spoke about this uh, already, but yeah, there's there's in like basically OPG if they couldn't catch up or they um, didn't have players sign or the cards printed yet. Um, they essentially just had these cards and they did it as an update. There's a list on Cardboard Connection if you want to know exactly who's in there, but there's some big hitters in there. This is a Red Rainbow rookie um, from 2019. States it on the back so you can see it was printed in 1920 but printed in 2020 but it's from 1920 OPG Platinum. Um, hard signed rookie in the retro variant from that year. So that's how the retros look compared to this year. This year kind of just took um, series one and two and um, I mean you can go on your merry way. But that is one of the 216 um, updates. So that is a nice little pull. Uh, I'm not sure how he's really doing. I need to check into Dallas a little more. But yeah, um, there's 216. At the very end of Cardboard Connection gives you a nice list of exactly what to expect. Um, Victor Soderstrom, Tyler Sagan, Duncan Keith, and Ryan Suter. Nope, I'll get a Dylan Coughlin over there. Rookie down. Ryan Suter follows me. I got him in the Allure Pink Unannounced Parallel Autograph. And the next. Well, this is the turn in the river. This is how I hit my um, Orange Checkers Dylan Cousins was on the turn. So... There it is. I mean, there's Dylan Cousins. It's not Orange Checkers, but um, me and the shop owner usually do a tradition when getting a... Oh, a nice little Kelma car. It's not rainbowed, but... Nice little Kelma car retro. PK Subban, James and Rizek. We usually, if there's a new release, and I'm picking it up on release day, if he has an open singles hobby, um, we'll rip two packs. I pay for them. I say, do you want the turn of the river? And we see who has the better pack. And every single time has something good has come out of it. Final pack. Cruising on through these now. Sebastian Ajo is the back card. It could be a rook in the middle. Derek Stefan and Braden Point. All right. Um, we can highlight this beautiful offering you. Nice little Kratz off if he ever comes back. So, very Ranger friendly. Uh, nice little PC hit for me. Just a rainbow. Um, we got Kirill the Thrill. Just in a base, but it'll go into the regular set. Miro Hishkinen. In a retro rainbow. Now the odds are harder on anything that's retro. Uh, you automatically get these sunsets. This is rarer than the sunset, but it's in a base of a nice little PC hit there too. You know, dry saddle, serialed. There's your other. And finally, 2019-20 Red Rainbow Retro. Hard signed. I'm going to have to figure out how to say that name. Not even going to try it. But that's a nice little hit there. It's probably the best auto we've gotten. Alright, this is 5-Hole Frank out. Hope you enjoyed.